Oh, hey, mate. Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> You're all all geared, that it? Got it right at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? Laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> nope. I'm the one got his fists. What? Lost your nerve? with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to old Geard. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? I happen to like it, especially the two ovoid forms. A jester. Good. 
I don't like men with no sense of humour. They bore me to death. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. this some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her! Fair Sabre, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Hey. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin. Matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen furt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissi was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Oh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. <laughs> <laughs> 